Hi class, I'm going to tell you guys all about your project today. By now, you should have already completed your transferring from Friday. If you have not done this yet, stop this video, go back and watch that video on how to transfer and transfer each of your shot characters into your four boxes. So after you're done transferring your character into each box, you're going to show complementary colors. If you remember from color theory, your complementary colors are orange and blue, red and green, yellow and purple, and we have an extra box for this. And so in our fourth box, we are going to show primary colors. I do not care the order that you guys put these in as long as you have the correct colors matching up together. So again, that will be orange and blue, red and green, yellow and purple, and then your fourth box will be your primary colors. So the first thing you are going to do is I want you to color your character. When you are coloring your character, I want you to use a little bit of different value using your colored pencil. So for example, if you're doing orange and blue and you want to have a orange gingerbread man, then have different values of orange. And I'll show you guys an example of that later on. The next thing you're going to do after you color that is I want you to have a hippie inspired background. I have added some pictures down here to kind of help you um, give you a little bit of inspiration. And I'll also show you my example. Okay, here is my example of one that I created. And here is a really good, good example of what I want you to do with the values. So with the value, I want you to kind of outline it in a darker orange so you can put more pressure on the paper and then color it in a little bit lighter, kind of have that different value to make it a little bit more interesting. And then in the background, I have created a tie-dye pattern. So this is hippie inspired and I will show you guys how to do this tie dye in a minute. But next one I want to show you guys is I did this purple one, purple and yellow. And for this one, I just did a bunch of different flowers in the background. Very simple. Here is my one that did primary colors. It's getting a little bit washed out. Let's see if I can fix it up a bit. There we go. So here are my ones with primary colors. If you remember that your primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. And then here is my one with red and green. So there is a really good example for you if you are feeling a little bit confused on what the project entails. There you go. Okay, now I wanna tell you guys how to create your tie-dye. So of course you're going to be using your complementary colors. Let's use blue and orange for this one. So I've already kind of did a little pattern up there, but I'm gonna show you guys how I got to that. Okay, your first step is you're going to kind of make a little bit of a pom-pom shape. Then you're just going to go back and forth and switch your colors and you're gonna go fully around And then you can go around again in your opposite color. And then you can just go around and around and around again until you get your desired look. So that's what I did in this one. You can kind of do it whatever shape you want. You can go around your character. You can do a bunch of different circles, however you want it. And then let me show you how to do this spiral one as well. So with the spiral one, what you're going to want to do is instead of just starting with a circle, you will start with a spiral. I like to just turn my paper a little bit, make it a little bit easier for myself. And instead of connecting the circle, you're just going to go slightly around it. And then you can go back in with your complementary color. And go all the way around. All right, I think you guys get the point by now. 
those are just two really fun ways to create um, a tie-dye pattern. I think they turned out pretty nice on this one. Here is another look at the example. And anything hippie inspired is great if you want to look up your own inspiration and draw from that. Um, the 60s and 70s are a good thing to look up for hippie inspiration. Okay, that is about it for your project. Um, just remember your complementary colors. Um, and then in your fourth box, you're going to do your primary colors. Thanks, guys.